Good morning and welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show just overlooking Park City Mountain Resort. It looks so beautiful out this morning and I am very thrilled to have joining us some folks from the National Ability Center. We'll go right down the row here. First off, we have Camps Coordinator Andrea Thompson. Welcome to the show, Andrea. Nice to have you here. Thank you so much. Great. And then also in the middle, we have Christian Visker. He is one of the campers. And then at the end there, we have Anna Beninati, is that right? <laughs> she is a counselor. Uh, welcome to the show, you guys. Hope you guys are having a great morning. And I was talking with them earlier how grateful I am that you guys came to share your experiences because this is one of those many of the wonderful programs that the National Ability Center puts together. So welcome to the show. And Andrea, let's start with you. Who actually put this camp together? Whose idea was it? So the vision for the camp actually started a couple of years ago with a 12-year-old. Um, who his name was Jack and he had a really good friend who um, had to receive amputations mm. and um, after that Jack just really wanted to offer his friend a camp experience where um, he could have a wonderful time meet other uh, kids kind of in the same boat as he was and just uh, be given opportunities to still challenge himself right. um, and, and just have a great time that's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Anna, tell me a little bit, uh, how many counselors do you guys work with there? You, This is your, how many years have you done this now? Uh, second time. This will be a, your second time around. Great. Uh, we usually, you know, we'll have a handful of NAC staff, and then I'm actually an athlete on the competition team. Right. And so what we do is we kind of, we tag along and, and we'll mentor and we'll, we'll spend time with the kids on the mountain and whatnot. That's wonderful. Well, Christian, share with me what your experience has been like. You've done this before. What are some of the activities and things that you guys get to do while you're there as a camper? So um, it's been a lot of fun to be on this camp, and a lot of what we focus on is, um, and what his idea was when he started the camp, was to be able to try all the different Paralympic sports that they do in both winter and summer as we go through the different camps. So uh, things like curling and sledge hockey, or in the summer camps we do archery. Um, and it gives you a little perspective of the things that you can do and the opportunities you have in the future. So I, I've tried curling and I'm terrible at it. Just saying. Do you, do you have a favorite or one that you're like, that's I, not for me? I, I actually, um, <laughs> when we did curling, I really liked curling. It was a lot of fun. Um, I think curling and sledge hockey were two of my favorite things that we did. Right. That's um, cool. Well, well uh, doing the curling, are you the, is it the pilot just, or the, who's the person? I don't know the name. Uh, yeah. Who's the guy that releases the stone and who's the guy that does the, the sweeper? The sweeper. sweeper yeah. um, <laughs> I don't know the names, it's but okay. we, did, we did both parts and um, I'm throwing the stone. You can either do it with, um, they had people doing them in wheelchairs, which was interesting to no watch. Kidding. And wow. then and people that weren't in wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. And then you have the sweepers, but. Very cool. So what have you learned from being a camper? You said this is, uh, has uh, exposed you to, to some things that you can do. Yeah, um, and, and being a camper is, it's opened a lot of doors for me. Um, and I've been to um, more than one kind of camp. Mm -hmm. um, I've been to other ones like this, and both of these camps have been great experiences, and I've made very good friends and lifelong friends, but, um, but having people talk to us like Anna is what's made me, I'm, I have a career to be in the 2018 Paralympics for snowboarding. Wow, no kidding. And that is because of these camps. These camps have what, um, what's got me started doing this. Um, I started snowboarding last year. I've skied for seven years, but um, I like snowboarding so much that that's what's really pushed me forward. It's opened so many doors for me. Tell me a little bit more about that for, for 2018. So 2018, forward. it is in... Um, South Korea. No, it's in South Korea. Mm -hmm. And um, and so this year I started training with the adaptive team. Nice. Um, I go up on Saturday to train with them at the Olympic Park. Um, and so... So over the next four years, we'll be training. This first year is just kind of a year to, I'm trying to get used to everything, all the different schedules and all that, because I'm still going to school. And then... You're a busy guy. Yeah. <laughs> I do I, all the training on school. I try now. to do a lot of different things. Sure. But, um, so trying to get around with school and all that, coming up on the weekends. And then um, really the, this year, next year, kind of a figure out what you're doing and then 
the next two years are major training for the wow. 2018 Paralympics. Man, you have your whole schedule set out for the next couple of years. You're going to yeah. be busy at work. That's so great to hear that. Congratulations for moving forward to, for Thank that you. kind of huge goal. That's amazing. Yeah. I love to hear things like that. And as a counselor, what is it like for you to work with kids like Christian here and uh, to see their development? You know, it's it's incredible. Action Camp is always one of the highlights in my season. Uh, this summer, when we played sled hockey together, that is probably one of my greatest memories of all time. Why is that? Was, that? It's you know, it's just great. It feels so much like spending time with my friends mm -hmm. because. Um, these young adults, they all have very similar disabilities to me. And you know, as much as I try and teach them, I think I end up learning just as much from them. Um, and it's, it's incredible. I wish that something like Ashen Camp had existed. Well, it, I, I, no, it didn't quite exist yet. I wish that it existed when I was up and coming at that same level because this, this would have uh, kick-started my career and made things much easier for me. <laughs> right, right. That's great. Well, tell us a little bit about your background in terms of how you got into you know, being a counselor and working with these guys. Well, I, uh, I've been a member of the National Ability Center's Alpine competition team for three seasons now. And um, I remember a couple seasons ago, Andrea came up to me and said, hey, we have this action camp. We have this group of uh, kids and teenagers with physical disabilities, amputations like you. Would you like to come and speak with them? Maybe go out and ski with them a little bit. And I jumped at the opportunity. That sounded like that was the greatest thing. So I, I spoke with them once the first winter. And then this summer, I actually did an internship at the Ability Center. And so I spent the whole week with them. We played sled hockey. We went to the pool. We did archery. We did, oh gosh. A lot of a lot of stuff. Lot Seems of like you've got a lot covered. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a, uh, it's incredible, and I, I absolutely I love it. Like I said, one of the highlights of my season. <laughs> That's so great. And, and Christian, you mentioned before the, the friendships that you guys developed, and it sounds like Anna can clearly second that based yeah. off of what you've just shared. That's amazing. I mean, these are people that you're going to be in touch with probably for the rest of your life, I would think, a lot of them. Exactly. No, it's, it's an incredible feeling to be able to, to look at these guys and know these are the people I'm going to share the podium with in 2018. These are the people that I'm going to be walking in the opening ceremonies with. Wow. It's a, it's a powerful feeling. I was just thinking of that, how I, I uh, think energizing and uh, invigorating, really, to feel the excitement of your fellow athletes yeah. and those working with you all towards that similar goal. Yeah. That's so great. Andrea, tell us how we can get involved in this. If someone's out there thinking, oh, I know someone who could really benefit from this, or they just heard Christian's experience, and they're like, wow, I want to get my kid involved in this. There's someone I know and I care about. Well, there's definitely still time. Um, so the camp is in February this year, and then we'll also have one in the summertime as well. Um, and they could just visit our website, um, which is discovernac.org, or give us a call. Um, uh, it's 435-649-3991. Um, but yeah, so they could get involved in one of our camp programs, but we mm -hmm. also have our ski and snowboard program and equestrian program. We offer so many different opportunities. Um, so if you know someone that would really benefit from it or really enjoy it, we'd, we'd love to offer an experience. Is there a particular age range? Um, this camp is for uh, teenagers, so it's for youth okay. um, with physical disabilities that have an interest in Paralympic sports. Um, but the National Ability Center serves all ages and abilities. Excellent. So, All right, you guys, thank you so much for thank being here you. this morning, for thank sharing you. your experiences, you. and, and really for really being a light to others that want to do something similar or think, wow, I can do what Christian's doing or what Anna's doing. That's so, so wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys thank very you much. For thank you. Have a great morning. Thank and uh, we're going to go to a commercial break. When we get back, it's Team Park City United and much more coming up after this commercial break.